Well, K2 Aviation in Talkeetna is known for its glacier landings on Denali. A post on social media about the history of some of their planes got the attention of some pilots, and Eric Soul attended a reunion that was over 50 years in the making. The tarmac in Talkeetna is buzzing. Flight seers heading off to glacier landings. The de Havilland Otter is the plane of choice. It's the perfect airplane for flying to and from glaciers in the Alaska range. Nobody has come up with anything better. Planes built for military service. The Otter was designed originally to take off and land on short runways. And all the people that still use it today use it because their mission is one where they can't make their runways any longer. Built for landing on improvised runways packed out of the jungle. I wanted to begin with a warm welcome to our esteemed Vietnam veterans. Inside a hangar at K2 Aviation, a reunion is going on. <laughs> Vietnam vets with the 18th and 54th Aviation Companies are being recognized with quilts of valor and visiting one team member they haven't seen since the war. I'm loving it. It's a, it's a special, special day for us old guys. These are the Otter Guys. It's very <laughs> likely that I flew that airplane in yep. Vietnam because that was a 54th Aviation airplane. And I, I had a platoon of the 54th Aviation uh, in the Mekong Delta. For K2 Aviation, this plane is four kilo tango. For these vets, this bird had a different name. Our call sign was Big Daddy. They flew support for the special forces on the ground. We flew uh, uh, their VIPs around and their mail drops and, and stuff. And we, we did all kind of stuff on these airplanes. Most of these guys were barely 20. None of us were very old. It's been 50 years. They haven't changed inside. They're just like they were. You guys can just go and hop in. And when these veterans and their families head out for a flight, the Otter becomes more than a plane. Stepping back 50 years in time. It becomes a bridge to a time when they were young. Eric Soule, Alaska's news source. What a fabulous story. Uh, some of the other otters in K2's hangars uh, flew for the Tanzanian Air Force and also the United Nations.